Hi everyone, I'm Sitin. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will show you our new Bioflock Park. We have moved the Bioflock facility to a new location with its dedicated operational team and clients. Let's see our location right now. As you can see, our new location is unlike any conventional shrimp park. We are located in the urban areas without access to seawater. At our farm, we make our seawater that is used to culture shrimp from the post-survey to marketable size of 20 to 30 gram shrimp, all within this facility. What makes indoor farming interesting is we can control the biosecurity. Having the farm indoor, we can control the disease outbreak by restricting the outside visitor. Outdoor farm, might easily be exposed to shrimp predators such as birds, which probably bring the disease from another farm into our farm. High-tech equipment we use for our farm might seem attractive to other people or the theft. If we can secure the farm by making sure the door is properly locked and maybe you want to put a CCTV on your farm, it can be done indoor. Other than that, we can control the contamination coming from the seawater. Earthen pond usually pump in and pump out the seawater to treat ammonia. However, we can do it differently by making our seawater. To make artificial seawater, you need to have the sea salt, tap water, sodium thiosulfate and anti-chlorine and a refractometer to measure the salinity. You need to mix the desired amount of salt into the tap water and stir until it completely dissolves. After that, use the refractometer to check the salinity level and adjust the salt requirement accordingly. The Bioflow Farm is located near the city centre and very close to the residential area. We can supply the shrimp directly to the restaurant or end consumer without having a long supply chain. It would be interesting if the customer know where their shrimp coming from or how their shrimp was cultured. This year, COVID-19 has bring difficulty to all over the world, including seafood farmers, exporters and traders. Even so, it is a blessing as our shrimp bioflock farm still operated as usual with minimal run. We can get the post survey for nursery during the restricted movement control. With that, we can still produce the shrimp product to meet our client demand. Although the fisheries and aquaculture industries get affected by the COVID-19, we still able to survive by supplying the product within local scale. It might be difficult for those who depend on international trade due to the closure of global market. Besides, we can ensure the food security. In 1996, World Food Summit explained that food security exists when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meet their dietary needs and food preference for an active and healthy life. The food security issue has been studied and discussed worldwide from 1970, where individual or group of people might suffer from food insecurity. To prevent and cope with the food insecurity, we can make it better by secure the seafood supply aiming at the local aspect. Although the bioflock look brownish, but it is full of beneficial bacteria. Let's see this under a microscope. A drop of a bioflock water can contain various microorganisms including copepoid, rotifer, ciliate, nematode and phytoplankton. All of these beneficial microbes responsible for the brownish water, which help to form good flock and remove ammonia from the water. Ammonia level in the water should not be more than 0.5 ppm for a long period as it is will affect the shrimp growth. Let's check what is the ammonia level now in this water. After 5 minutes, you can see the results. The ammonia level in the bioflock water is in between 0 to 0 0.25 ppm. As I have mentioned before, bioflock depends on beneficial bacteria to remove ammonia. 
to control the removal efficiency, we need carbon to nitrogen ratio and monitor the level daily. If the bioflock system operated at its optimum, you can have zero water exchange which can save the salt and water usage. Now, let's move on to see our current setup. We currently operated with five tanks. One tank we use as our nursery. This is our nursery. Here we have an oxygen cone to supply saturated oxygen and improve the shrimp feeding. Inside this tank, we put a protein skimmer to remove the small solid particle. At the side, we have a settling tank or clarifier. This is to remove excess solid from the tank. We use a rotameter to control the treatment volume and removal. Now we are running at 300 to 500 liter per hour. As you can see inside the tank, we have an impeller to help with the circulation and keep resuspended the solid. For the aeration, we use this air tube and fit it inside the tank. For now, we are running at a very high density. So we use a small compressor with stone aeration to increase the dissolved oxygen, especially during the night time. Okay, that's a bit of name of how is our bioflock farm now. We also prepare a free ebook for those who wish to learn more on the bioflock technology for shrimp. You can download it in the link provided at the description. If you are interested to join the course, do drop us a message. Thank you for watching.